Hello, my name is Kurt Rasmussen with TY Lynn East District. Today's demonstration will be about AutoCAD title blocks and the dynamic aspect to them. Let's start by opening a new file which will be made with our template. We are going to pick our TY Lynn Civil 3D 2011 general template and we're going to go to the layout tab. As we see here, the title block is already there. Let's start with sheet size. What I'm going to do is select the title block, and as I select it down here, we see an arrow. Um, when I pick that arrow, we will see it expands, and there are different sheet sizes. By default, I have it set to 24 by 36, which is an Arc D size paper. If you change this size, you will need to move around your title block information for now. And let's unselect that so I can show you the rest. Then you would pick your scale bar. By default, I have it set to 1 inch equals 30. But if we select that, we see another arrow pop up. And that gives us different options for different scale values. As you see there, picking from the menu will change your scale bar. We'll set this back to 30 and hit escape. Over here we also have our title block. If we pick our title block we see that the address is set for the Hamilton office. If we are to open that we have the option of the other offices within our district. Makes it more convenient for everybody to use the same standard when setting up their title block. Next I'm going to pick the professional's name signature line as we expand this we see that there is a whole list of employees that work here that we could change their information and make sure that we have the li right license number when I grab the box information here we see that this can also be expanded with discipline designation or without discipline designation we also see here that these items are gray. These are fields which are connected to a sheet set. I will cover that during another demonstration. The revision box, if you need to add more, I have this feature of grabbing the arrow and just expanding it up for how many you need. Very dynamic and quick. It will make it all the exact lengths that it needs to be. And finally, the north arrow. This is our standard north arrow you can select this and there is a pull down menu for you to use the New Jersey State Plain North Arrow or I also have a fancy one which is generally used for reports, presentations, things like that. This concludes our sheet AutoCAD title block sheet setup.